Hi, I'm Judy Coates Perez, and I'm known for my whole cloth painted art quilts. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I work making my art quilts. And today this is the, the project I'm going to be working through. This is a whole cloth painted quilt. And I start by using textile paints and not acrylics. Acrylics will make your fabric stiff, so you want to always use textile paints. And you want to use paint brushes that are made for using with acrylics. Um, a synthetic bristle brush is the best for this. Then I use a variety of tapes when I'm working. I use artist tape often for taping my cartoon to my fabric when I'm transferring the design. And I always use mechanical pencils. I like a .5 because it's got a nice fine point and I never have to sharpen my pencil while I'm working. I usually like to keep a permanent marker around so that I can draw my designs on my finished designs with that. It makes it better for scanning the image. Uh, X-Acto knives are great for cutting out freezer paper templates. A uh, ruler and a cutting mat is always good to have around. Um, the way I like to work also is using marker paper. It's something that um, people in the advertising and graphics industry use a lot for designing things. So that's my preference. It's a little um, more opaque than tracing paper, so it's a little heavier duty. More like paper, but you can see through it. So it's got a nice bright white page. And so when I put my design that I'm working on in pencil, I can put it underneath and I can see through it really nicely so that I can correct things, fine tune my design. And when I'm finished, I'll put the, I'll get a permanent marker and I'll do a fine detailed drawing of it that I can scan into the computer, which would be like this. And so then I always use white cotton fabric is my preference. Um, the higher the thread count, the better. Um, you want a really smooth, smooth finish. I notice that some, some fabrics have kind of a bumpier thread um, weave, and those are going to make it a little more difficult to get a nice, smooth um, coat of paint on your fabric. And uh, you want prepare for dyeing fabric, PFD. And you do not want any finishes or um, stabilizers in your fabric because you don't want to have problems with the paint adhering to your fabric. So if you happen to have fabric that you're not sure about, you can throw it in the washer machine on a warm setting with a little bit of detergent and wash your fabric and that should be good for painting on. Next, I'm going to take it to the computer and show you how I work to take the step to the design into the cartoon mode for drawing. 